Would you like to learn my secret recipe for a tender carne asada? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how I make the marinade and how I grill this great carne asada. Hey there, I'm Steve with Timber West Design. We specialize in designing and building timber shade structures for outdoor living spaces. We love hanging out in our pavilion, but we also love to grill in our pavilion. So today I'm gonna to show you one of my grilling techniques for a wonderful recipe that I have for a carne asada. Stay tuned, you're gonna love it. The meat we're using for carne asada can either be flap, skirt, or flank. In this case, we went to our local butcher and had him cut some flap steak for us. The beauty about this meat is it has a little bit more marbling in it for a better flavor. Okay, we're gonna start with the marinade. First off, we go take the lime, we cut it in half, we have this fancy wancy press, put the lime in this way. We actually gonna put it right into the bag. We're gonna squeeze the juice into the bag. Okay, and then we're gonna get the other half. There we go. Next on the list, we're gonna use a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Use the best quality that you can find. Pour that into the bag. Next, a quarter cup of minced cilantro. So we're gonna take some of that. Put it on the cutting board, chop it up into fine small pieces. Now that the cilantro is all chopped up, we're gonna put it into our marinade bag. Okay, looking good. All right, next on the list, we have one tablespoon of minced garlic. Put that in the marinade. We have salt, we have oregano, and we have cumin. We're gonna add those to the bag. Next is our serrano chilies. You can either use one or two, depending how hot you want it. You can take the seeds out if you'd like, or you can leave them in for more heat. Okay, now I've taken the seeds out and I took that inner membrane out. We're gonna cut these in little thin strips, and then we can chop them up into little pieces. I'm gonna switch the knife here. Okay. Okay, now that I have the serrano chili chopped up into really fine chunks, we're gonna add that to our marinade bag. Get everything in there, there we go. The secret to this whole marinade is the kiwi. What the kiwi does is it helps tenderize the meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a fork and we're gonna just kinda mash the kiwi up like that. One of the little small pieces. This is really gonna help tenderize the carne asada. All right, looking good. We're gonna put that kiwi into the marinade bag like so. And I'm gonna zip it up. And then we're gonna kinda just smash it all together and get everything mixed really well. Okay, now we're gonna take the flap steak and add it to the marinade. Take the second piece. We want this in here at least an hour, preferably overnight. Zip up the bag. We're gonna just kinda get everything covered on the flap steak. Make sure it's all spread out evenly. And then we're gonna put this in the fridge. Like I said earlier, at least an hour. Best is if it's overnight. And I'll meet you back at the grill. While your grill is warming up, take your carne asada out of the fridge for about 30 minutes to let it stabilize on the temperature and it'll cook more evenly as well. The next step is to remove the carne asada from the marinade bag. Take off the excess marinade and it's ready to go in the grill. Here we go, putting this on the grill. I'm using a Kamado style grill, which uses lump charcoal going to give it a great smoky flavor in addition to the uh, marinade that we put in there. I've got the grill fired up to 400 degrees. I put the steak in for four minutes. It's time to flip. There we go. I want the internal temperature on the carne asada to be about 145. I have a thick and a thin one in here. I'm going to pull the thin one out now. We're going to leave the thicker one in. Okay, the internal meat temperature is 145. Let's open this up, pull the probe out. The carne asada has rested for about five minutes. It's time to slice. So we're gonna go across the grain. We're gonna cut thin slices. This smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. You know, there's three ways to tenderize meat. One is you can pound it, two is you can marinate it, and three is you cook it low and slow. Smells so good. Tastes even better. What can you do with carne asada? Well, you could put it on a taco, you could put it on a tostada, 
You can use it as a main dish, but no matter how you serve it, it's going to be great. And this is because we use the kiwi, the secret ingredient for the tenderness. I will put the recipe in the show notes. Now it's time for dinner in the pavilion. If you're inspired to elevate your outdoor space, take the next step and visit us at timberwestdesign.com. Enter your details for a free consultation with me and explore the possibilities of a custom-made kit shipped to your city and installed by a local contractor. Stay tuned for more insights and videos. Please like, share, and subscribe so you can stay in the loop and see fun projects that might spark your imagination. Your dream outdoor sanctuary is within reach, and I'm here to make it a reality. Until next time, thanks for watching.